You're listening to the Batuta Advocates Weekly News Wrap on Desert Rock FM 96.5. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Batuta Advocate News Bulletin here on Monday, the 18th of November, broadcasting live from Batuta, the capital of the Channel Country, live from the Baxter Boot. Today, I am only joined with Wendell Hussey as Clancy Overall is out getting a colonoscopy as he's just turned 65. He thought it was... It was about time. He is taking proactive steps. Uh, he's got a young family, so I would suggest that any of our more senior listeners listening now, if you've got thin ribbon-like stools like Clancy has, maybe it's time to do the old test at home kit or go and get a torch up your pipe. Wendell, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Errol. Yes, good on Clancy for trying to get on top of that. It should be very much encouraged. How are you going, Errol? Very good, Wendell. As I'm only 47, I still have many, many more years until I have to shit in a paper bag in the comfort of my house. Still a little while off. Now, let's start off with some national news, and the bushfires have been making headlines, as is understandable. One of those stories that we broke this week was party that's been in power for 17 of the last 23 years frustrated with Green's fire policy. Yes, as we all know, Wendell, the Greens are to blame for this latest fire disaster by crippling the nation with their restrictive fire practices. The government has been able to confirm that the awful bushfires are actually the Greens' fault. After finding a status from some bloke on Facebook saying the Greens and or Greenies prevent backburning and hazard reduction with their powerful single seat in the lower house. Yeah, it's been an issue that the coalition government has been very passionate about for at least a week now after seeing that status. Mm. So hopefully they can get on top of it and change that policy that they've been unable to change for the last 23 years. And Aidan Crocker, a reader from town, commented on that story saying, the sooner we look into the greeny deep state run by public servants and local councillors thwarting the state and federal government at every turn, the better. There has been some good news for the nation, though, on the fire front now, with the PM's emergency thoughts and prayers package finally arriving from Cronulla. Well, Wendell, as we all know, Cronulla had its name sullied by those terrible riots. I think in recent years they've made efforts to change that, and this story is evidence to suggest that. There's been a huge drop of thoughts and prayers which have arrived from Cronulla in one of those big, creepy Hillsong buses that transport people into their churches was really welcomed by the fireys who are tirelessly working to fight the severe fires ravaging the east coast still yeah unfortunately it hasn't put any of the fires out but hopefully it will subdue that threat soon and in other national news schoolies kicked off over the weekend we broke an exclusive story on that one which was bottle of little fat lamb to ensure excited schoolie won't remember a thing from last night Mm, schoolies, take note if you're listening. As thousands of young people descend on the glitter strip, one excited schoolie made sure he wouldn't remember a thing from the first night of schoolies by purchasing a 1.25 litre of the 8% ginger beer. This comes after the CSIRO found that consuming a bottle of little fat lamb in a matter of minutes has a similar effect on the brain as a powerful magnet does when you hold it up to a cassette tape. And some of our town's most piss-fit residents have confirmed the power of that stuff. Kyle Scott said, I still have a headache and a hangover from drinking this two years ago. And Andrew Fielding said, I don't care how piss-fit you are, this shit has your measure. And there are a lot more comments like that on that story. In some local news from around town now, and why do you watch this shit? Ask husband who can't keep his eyes off the TV. Well, those shows are just doing what they're designed to do. The man who seemed to be glued to The Bachelorette two nights a week can't understand how people waste their time on it. Similar story? I think so. Despite always floating around the TV when it's on, the husband says the whole thing is scripted, a complete waste of time, and just one giant ad. However, he did reportedly shed a tear when the popular fan favourite Kieran left the show last week. So it's a little bit confusing. Now, in other news from around our humble regional metropolis, a man in mid-twenties has been greeted by adulthood with mystery knee pain. Mm, Well, as a 47-year-old Wendell, and I think you have a long time until you really start to feel the terrible throes of of age. I know that I have two bad knees, and this story really struck a chord with me because, you know, this young man, he did say that this knee pain did come out of nowhere, which it does, and he can't really attribute it to anything in particular, which is also a very common story. 
On top of never being able to see his friends due to conflicting schedules and coming to the realisation that his degree has done fuck all to better his career. This local man named John says his knee problem is really the final straw. Yeah, he said adulthood sucks. And we interviewed a local orthopedic surgeon about this. Dr. Roy, his name was. And he said knee pain is normal and should be expected around the time you start meal prepping for fun, buying brand new nonstick fry pans and accumulating Tupperware. Mm, if anyone knows how to waste money, it's an orthopedic surgeon. Wendell. Yes, moving on to sports news now this week and George Pell, Shane Watson's to the High Court. Yes, unfortunately, Cardinal Pell did not have a sharpened toothbrush plunged into his temple while on remand or indeed while he's been serving his crimes. So in the meantime, he has had the opportunity to Shane Watson to the High Court, which is to appeal the decision and watch that appeal be shot down in flames. Hopefully. And more on the story, the extremely unpopular national pedophile has tried to appeal his guilty verdict to the highest court in the land. In a classic Shane Watson-style review, the former Cardinal has refuted the decision of out, despite the ball cannoning into his pads perfectly in front of middle stump. Yes, they're going through ball tracking right now, hotspot, snicko, all that sort of stuff, and hopefully they'll confirm the on-field decision. And that's all we have time for on this week's News Bulletin. We'll catch you next week. Until that time, my name is Errol Parker. Stay out of the pokies. Never talk to the police unless you've got legal counsel present. I'm Wendell Hussey. Goodbye.